Tayo mga bata, this is Teacher Ian. This time, pag-uusapan natin ang energy transformation. Specifically, from electrical energy to light energy and heat energy. So get your activity notebooks and let's start! Your targets for this video are to demonstrate how electrical energy can be transformed into light and heat and construct a diagram showing energy transformations as to electrical to light and heat. To test how much you already know about the transformation of electrical energy to light and heat energy, let's try these easy questions. Please get a pen and your answer sheets so that you can write down your answers. Please do not forget to submit all your answers for this video to your teacher. Remember, you can pause the video in each question to give you time to think and answer. Are you ready? Let's start! Select the best answer and write the letter of your choice in your answer sheet. Number 1. What form of energy is needed for a light bulb in a socket to function? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 2. Which form of energy is produced by a television after it is plugged in and turned on? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 3. What form of energy is released by a bulb after it is left on for a long time? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 4. Which of the following energy transformation happens when we plug in Christmas lights? A. Heat to electrical to light B. Light to electrical to heat C. Electrical to light and heat D. Light and heat to electrical Number 5. Which of the following forms of energy is used by a street light to function? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Great job guys! You've finished the pretest. Are you warming up yet? I hope you are. Let's continue. Guess what form of energy is most used in the following pictures? Choose between light energy, heat energy, or electrical energy. Number 1. A chick warms itself up near the lamp. Number 2. Christmas lights lighten the walls. Number 3. A compact fluorescent lamp glows hot as seen through a thermal camera. Number 4. A television is plugged to the outlet. Number 5. A desk lamp lighting up the table. For our activity, we are going to need the following materials. One set of Christmas lights and an electrical outlet. For the procedures, number 1. Touch the bulbs of the Christmas light. Write your observations. Number 2. Plug in the lights to the outlet. Remember mga bata, ask for adult supervision in plugging in the lights in the outlet. Please be careful. Number 3. After 10 minutes, carefully unplug the Christmas lights from the outlet. Number 4. Touch the bulbs of the Christmas lights, then write your observations. Please note the difference if there is. Let's process your thoughts with these guide questions. Number 1. What form of energy is needed for the lights to function? Number 2. What form of energy was observed when the lights were plugged in the outlet? Number 3. After 10 minutes, what form of energy was present in the bulbs when it was touched? Number 4. What energy transformation took place in the lights in the activity? Keep this in mind. Energy can be transformed into other forms. This is very noticeable in appliances like televisions, laptops, bulbs, and other lights. 
These appliances and gadgets make use of the electrical energy in the outlet and sockets. The electrical energy make these appliances and gadgets function. When they are plugged in, they transform the electrical energy to light energy, producing light for bulbs and the images we see in televisions and laptops. After use over time, these appliances and gadgets also transform the electrical energy to heat energy. This is observable when we touch the appliance or gadget and it feels hot. Energy can be transformed to different forms in bulbs and other appliances. Can you trace these energy transformations? Let's apply what you've learned. Trace the energy transformations in the following pictures. Construct a diagram to trace it. You can pause the video to give you time to write. To help you summarize and reflect on what you've learned on this video, please accomplish these sentence prompts. I have learned that I wish to ask my teacher about I want to learn more about To better demonstrate the transformation of electrical energy to light and to heat energy, please accomplish the following task. Select one appliance or gadget in your home or community that converts electrical energy to light energy and heat energy. Then trace the transformation using a diagram. Please do not forget what these keywords mean. Compact fluorescent lamp or CFL. A fluorescent light bulb small enough to fit into a standard light socket. Outlet. A receptacle for an electrical plug to make a connection with the power supply. Amazing job guys! We're almost done! To test your learnings on the transformation of electrical energy to light energy and then to heat energy, let us answer the post-test. Please write your answers on your answer sheet, which will be submitted to your teacher along with all your answers in the previous activities. Please pause the video in each question to give you time to think. Ready? Let's begin! Select the best answer and write the letter of your choice in your answer sheet. Number 1. What form of energy is needed for a light bulb in a socket to function? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 2. Into what form of energy is electrical energy transformed to when a bulb is switched on? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 3. Which form of energy is produced by a television after it is plugged in and turned on? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 4. What form of energy is given by the headlights of a motorcycle at night? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 5. What form of energy is released by a bulb after it is left on for a long time? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 6. Which of the following energy transformation happens when we plug in Christmas lights? A. Heat to electrical to light B. Light to electrical to heat C. Electrical to light and heat D. Light and heat to electrical Number 7. 
Which of the following forms of energy is given off by a lamp to chicks to keep them warm? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 8. Which of the following forms of energy is used by a street light to function? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 9. Which of the following forms of energy is needed by a traffic light to function? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Sound energy D. Electrical energy Number 10. Which of the following energy transformation happens in a switched-on disco light? A. Heat to electrical to light B. Light to electrical to heat C. Electrical to light and heat D. Light and heat to electrical Congratulations! You finished the post-test and you're done with the video on energy transformation, specifically from electrical energy to light energy and heat energy. You were also able to construct a diagram to trace the transformation. I hope you can see the transformation applied in real life and in your surroundings. Till the next video, so long!